CSS does so much more than just make things look pretty, if you will, because all I've done here is added a background, change the fonts. It actually can be used to apply structure to a site, so how it flows, where the content is, it can even do animation, all sorts of things. But what I want to do right now is add some structure to this, because everything's obviously in sort of one column. And what I want to do is I want to take this content right here and I want to float it off to the left hand side and take this content and float it to the right. So I kind of have a two column site. Now how would you do that? Well, first off I'm going to take a look at how this is currently set up because right down here we can see I have this aside, okay? And what I could do is I could just make the aside, you know, 30% width and float it to the left. But if I apply that directly to this tag, it's going to do it for all the sides. And what if I want to have an aside that's also on the right side? So that's why I actually want to create a class and then apply those various properties to it. So right over here, and it's okay if that's selected. Right over here for selectors, I can click on that. It's gonna automatically add whatever I've selected, but I'm gonna go ahead and change this because I want this to be in a side left, for instance, okay? Notice how I put that period right there that identifies that as a class that can be applied to anything, which is great. A side left, that's what I've selected. And I'm just gonna change the width to a percentage. And again, like I said, let's just do like 30%. Okay, nothing's happened yet because I actually need to apply it to this aside. So I need to apply this class before that closing carrot, if you will. I want to hit a space bar and then type in class. So I can see it pop up right there. When it pops up, I want to hit the enter key, just like that. Thank you so much. Adds the equals sign and then the quotes. And not only that, look, it gives me that aside left because it knows I typed it in over here already. Fantastic. Hitting enter, it selects it, it moves it off to the side. That's exactly what I want to happen. All right, I could do the same thing right down here for this section. Same thing, right? So coming over here, I can add another one. This is going to add a period and we're going to add a section right. Just like that, selecting that. We're gonna give this uh, width that happens to be a percentage, 70%, just like that. And you can see actually nothing's happened yet because I need to apply it right over here, same way, class, typing that in. As soon as it pops up, I can hit enter. And not only that, I can toggle between those two now that I have them added. Selecting section right by using my arrow keys, hitting enter and it makes that 70%. Still a lot of formatting I need to do because notice that they're actually both floating to the uh, left-hand side. So I'll actually start with section right, right here. I have it selected. And this is where I might need to do a little bit of math. And first off, what I'm gonna do, just kind of help me out, scrolling down right here, floating. This is I want to actually to float to the right. So selecting that, float to the right. So, so far, so good. Floating to the right, it's 70%. And notice the box around it. So I'm just going to add a background color of white just so we can see this work, okay? So that goes clear to the edge, right? Not quite what I want. I wanna give it a little bit of buffer right down here for the margin, for instance, on the right-hand side, 5%, typing that in. Thank you, give me a little bit of space. Give me some space on the top, say about 30 pixels from the top. On this side, I wanna do 1% for now. And notice how this again goes clear from edge to edge. And I'm gonna expand this out and I'll just select the styles CSS so we can start to see some of this content get created. Again, section right is what we're working on. Right in here, taking me down to that section. So I have the margin set up, right? And honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the width last. So padding on the inside, right? That's the inside of this because it goes clear to the edge. Not a fan, 2.5%, how about that? Pushing that out a little bit, 2.5%. In fact, what I can do is I can add 2.5% to all sides by hitting that lock. Boom, there it is, does it on all sides. Now that looks much better, I have that 5% on that side. Still a little bit too large. In fact, I'm gonna take this down to, I don't know, about 50%, maybe 55, something like that. So what is that total? We have 55%, 60, 65, 66% is what's going on here. I don't even have to have it total 100%, but it's at 66%. But let's just customize this a little bit more. I really like this box, but I'm gonna go down here to the background. Background color is white. Hey, you know what? Let's get a little more fancy right in there. In fact, let's just 
trash that by hitting the trash can. And let's add a fancy gradient right in here again. Let's go from white right down here to white. That is transparent. Okay, so about 25% transparent, so that fades down. I can even adjust it like that. Okay, so I think that would be kind of cool. Ah, I was right. I think that is kind of cool, and I can still read the text. Let's get a little bit more fancy as I take a look at the border radius. Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and round some of these corners, right? Because that would be cool. 25 pixels, say, on that side just for fun to kind of keep your eye on the inside of this content. All in all, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to work on the percentages here in a little bit, but I'm going to jump over here to this one. Keep in mind, this H1 actually is my aside left, okay? So that's contained within that aside left. So now I'm going to roughly do the same thing. I need to get this squared away. I need to make sure that this is floating to the left. Notice how as soon as I select float left, it's going to float it to the left-hand side. So this float is probably the most important thing that you want to keep in mind float left, float right. And I want to make sure the totals aren't over 100%. But well, let's just kind of take a look at that. I don't have to worry about the padding, for instance. But let's just take a look at the margin. Let's do 1% like I did before. So there's about 2% in the middle. We'll do 5% on this outside portion. And for the top, just like I did for section right, let's do 30 pixels. Something like that. We're already running into some issues. So look, if we take a look, this is now too large. So I need to take this down to like 28% like that. Okay. And we could even check on this, by the way, if I go into source code and I just select, it's going to be easier to see it. I can see the aside is actually at the very top. It's really the line height that might make it look off. But honestly, I don't want it clear to the top edge because that would look funny. Now let's just double check our math. So section right, this total to be 66. So again, 55% right here, 60, 65, 66. So that gives us 34% to play with for this aside left, which again, if you notice, 34, we have 28 plus 5 and 1 equals 34. So it's all looking pretty good. The only thing that's bothering me is this little footer right here. It's still floating at the top, right? And that's what these floats will do is they'll start overlapping other things. So in this case, I actually need to fix the footer right over here for my footer selector. If I select it, you can see again, all I have is the font size and text alignment changed. But if I scroll down here, I actually need to do this one. I actually need to clear it out from the left and the right, basically put it on the bottom by clearing out on both sides, clicking right there, it'll move it to the bottom. So just to recap really fast, probably the float, having things float to the right or left is really powerful and important. You might get some overlap. You might also use clear to, again, move things down and get them out of the way. But now I have sort of the basic structure of my site set up all thanks to CSS.